friends and let, but let's see how the storyline will go here today in the final battle of the wildcard phase. We welcome you to the second quarter of play and the adjustment uh, responsibility definitely on the side of Rain or Shine. If you were to pick uh, probably one or two things they had to work on, what would that be for Rain or Shine? Number one, they had to make a conscious effort to attack the basket. They're not shooting well from the outside. The three-point shots are not uh, available so far. They have to attack the basket, go to the free throw line while on the defensive end. They have to sprint down, check the guys who are leaking out for Coca-Cola and force the Tigers to play a half-court game na kung saan mas maganda silang dumipensa with their half-court defense. The uh, history item that we were mentioning at prior to the season, Coca-Cola had won its last seven meetings against Rain or Shine, uh, also known as Welcourt at certain point, leading back to the 2007-2008 season. Okay, this game now a 10-point gap uh, separating uh, the two teams with Coca-Cola in front. Oh, uh, Williamson showing signs of uh, people, a lot of us, uh, a lot of people are asking us why we use the word athleticism and athletics so much, because this is an example of uh, what we need. Last line defender not present there, not early enough to show in front of John Williamson, and he will hurt you. Napaka, ano yan, sarap, ano, sophisticated, so athletic. Nung araw, naglalaro tayo sakali, magikero, taas tumalo, taas pumalo, pilis tumakbo, umuupo sa ere, pumipirma. Hang time. Yeah. yeah. Athletic move. Oh, Jaira Ibanez yes. got it, getting a break, hitting his first shot after three attempts. First two possessions yes. for Rainer Shine. They attack the basket. First two possessions. They likewise scored. So they're still down by 10 here in the second quarter. Familiar song uh, in the second quarter. This 10 point distance. The biggest lead uh, established so far. 12 pointers. Some first quarter numbers on your screens right now. It's a very big disparity in terms of shooting percentage for Reno Shine and Coca-Cola. Coca-Cola forcing their last two painters to hit below 30%, while on the other side, Coca-Cola's transition offense and good interior passes resulting into a very high shooting clip. space, you know, huh? Okay, the uh, issue now is uh, what kind of foul will be called? We have referee uh, Maurillo uh, approaching scores table. Boy uh, Cruz is there. Let's wait for the official call for confirmation. Let's listen. It will stay as an ordinary pushing foul. Third on Neely, nonetheless. Uh, our good friend Andy Hell telling Color Garcia, well, we got out of that one. No flake whip was called in that sequence. <laughs> Concerning Williamson, did you throw a free throw? It looks like it's not. Interesting, didn't you throw it? Yes, uh, that shot was taken by John Williamson and should be deemed as an act of shooting foul. Well, no complaints from the side of Coca-Cola, although Bo Perasov has his feet up. The familiar Marvin Cruz, southpaw stab, nothing working there. Norwood dancing with Daliera. Rayback launches hard off the iron. Taun Lava had a hand on it, but not for long. There is a... Wait. The ball hitting the outside, I think. And then... Touched last by Jere Ibanez, and it will go the other way. Different front line combination right now for Rain or Shine. And uh, you want defensive oriented last line defenders, and Mike Rayback fits that role to AT for Rain or Shine. You know what Calori Garcia is hoping for? Something that will get their momentum going. Anything. Either it'll come from this offensive foul being called against Williamson. It's looking for something that will ignite this team. This is a team that loves to ride on emotion. Yes, it's a, it's a team laden with energy. We talk about Reno Shine with a lot of young and athletic players. They're young, they're hungry, they like highlight moves. That's why Hot Rod is a perfect fit to this squad. Gusto nila emotional yung game. Gusto nila mabilis talaga. At saka hindi nila type yung they have to climb back arduously. It has to be a run and gun, a dipsy-do kind of game. And that is... 
indicative of the youth you were talking about. Yes. That's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. In the meantime, off the rebound, a foul. Nolan Killing again, making the score. That game, Norwood going dribble drive, kicking off to Mike Rayback. And still, the perimeter shots of the Lasso Painters are still not there. And that's why Coca-Cola continues to have this 10-point advantage here in the second quarter. I think they gave the foul to Cruz, his first of the game. Rodriguez, by the way, makes his first appearance. Here's T.Y. Dang escaping with a 16-footer. That is not working. That outside shot is not working for uh, Rainer Shine. We'll check the numbers in a short while. I'm beginning to sense that they have not really solidly connected. And a first quarter uh, update, Majan. 37% from the two, 27, 26% uh -huh. for, uh, from the entire field. 0 of 8 from the three. Jaira Ibanez went on a fishing expedition. It's a day when the fish took a holiday. In the meantime, Makapagal, who had a hot opening quarter with back-to-back -back hits, can't nail the long-distance three. 9.27 to go in the second period. Pang handoff now to Norwood. What's the whistle? Boy Cruz making this call. Ibanez, boy, wasted possession. Yes. Uh, this is an attempt from the other, uh, in the other sequence, now committing a, uh, an offensive foul. Two wasted opportunities here for Jari Ibanez and company. And that's why coach Kaler Garcia has sent in Solomon Mercado to try and uh, elevate the offensive game of their last two painters. Mababa ang kanilang production from the field. Mababa ang kanilang shooting percentage. And though they are making the necessary defensive stuff due to the second quarter, they are not able to get easy points in the break and with their second chance looks. Paolo Mendoza on the floor for the very first time today. And here's Taulaba who has been a rock. What a pass. What a pass. And Rodriguez had no choice but to nail that. He was even coercing the ball. And that's one thing that has also been key to the success of Coca-Cola in the last uh, four games. They're working that ball underneath. Very disciplined, very patient. And the outside shot has taken a leave of absence. Ten rebounds now for Talava. He's the best local rebounder in the entire league. And you can see why. 11 on the shot clock as Makapagal tries to break loose in the corner. Fires the bid. That will not connect. Here comes Norwood. Norwood's dribble. He applies the break. Mercado seeing too many white shirts. Reyes says, let me try. And the outside shot is still not there. David, up fake. <laughs> this is interesting. Because it happens in the bench, in front of the bench of Rain or Shine. And they collect it. Oh! Kate Norwood is a very good defender, and I don't think that he's a flopper. Hey, you know, collective ball. <laughs> Asito Lava did an excellent job manning the boards for Coca-Cola, and uh, Dennis Pino who scored easy, yeah, early points for Coca-Cola back in the fray for the Tigers. Dennis trying to look for some elbow room, ends up mixing his dance steps. Solomon Mercado and Gary David. Like each other, no? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Ako meron akong uh, teoria. Yeah, Sol likes to talk uh, to get out the stress of the ball game. Yes, uh, probably trying to bring out the emotions. For the last two painters, something that we haven't seen so far for Rain or Shine. Flat energy is what we witnessed in the first quarter. Yeah, I and, agree. And because of their dynamic shooting and the inefficient offense so far, di pa natin nakikita yung uh, liksi nung pagtakbo itong uh, running game for Rain or Shine. You know why? The outside shots have not done it. Tama. Diba? Walang, ano eh, walang bite, walang, walang pepe. At tamataas din ang shooting oh, percentage oh. ng Coca-Cola, kaya hindi sila nakatakbo. Coca-Cola shot 60% from the field, 62% from the two, and 40% from the three. Now we're trying to clear up the substitution uh, that's being made. Jeff Chan, who did have that career high, best player performance the other night, is back on the floor. They're hoping for something will connect from the outside. Fifth game in the last 12 days. 
And uh, let's see the energy level of Rainer Shine here today in their campaign against the Tigers. Another defensive stop here for Coca-Cola.